All right, section 9.3 is on graphing quadratic functions. And so we're going to go through the process uh, and do this a couple of times today. But uh, here is the, the graph of a quadratic function. Looks like this one might be a quadratic inequality since there's some shading there. So a quadratic function is in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's a y there. We're used to seeing a 0 there. Of course, the 0 tells us something different than the y. The y is telling us we want to find every point that makes this true. And that's what the graph is for. The shape of a quadratic is going to be parabolic. If the a is positive, we open upward. If the a is negative, the parabola opens downward. The graph on the left would be one where a is positive. That's opening upward. The one on the right, the A would be negative. It's opening downward. The vertex is either the lowest point or the highest point in the graph. In this case, this is a, a low. This is the lowest point on the graph. That would be called a minimum. And this is the highest point on the graph. It would be called a maximum over on the right. The axis of symmetry breaks up the parabola into two symmetric parts. And here we have our axis of symmetry. On the left is the dotted line. It's dotted, of course, because the axis of symmetry isn't actually part of the graph. It's just part of something that we use as a guide. And that's what we always do is, is a dotted line indicates not part of the graph, but you know uh, an important part. To find the vertex, we're going to use negative b over 2a. And that's also, of course, the, the axis of symmetry. So whenever we graph a quadratic, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the x value of the vertex. We're going to make a table of values, find the y value of the vertex, and then a few more points. And then we're going to plot those points and put a smooth curve to them. So here's our first example problem. y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Would this graph open upward or downward? Well, the A value is 1. That's positive. So this is going to be a graph that's going to open upwards. So what is our vertex? We're going to find our vertex by taking the opposite of B over 2A. B is negative 2. A is positive 1. So 1 is the value of the vertex. And that's kind of nice when it's an integer. Now we're going to plug that 1 back in for X and see what is Y. Well, we get 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. What is 1 minus 2 minus 3? Well, of course, 1 minus 2 minus 3 is negative 4. So this is our table of values, 1, negative 4. And then we're going to do plug in some other numbers for x to see what we get for y. When we plug in negative 1 for x, we get 0 for y. When we plug in 3 for x, we get 0 for y. And that's going to give us some points and a smooth curve. So find the vertex, find some points, plot them. The equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals 1 because that's the value of the x. Here's a second problem to do. Uh, this one, of course, is going to open downward because there's a negative 2 in front of the x squared. And when we plug in b, which is negative 1, and a, which is negative 2, we get negative 1 fourth for our vertex. You're going to have a few of these problems to do uh, that are going to have a, uh, a fraction, and that makes the work a lot tougher because when you plug in that 1 fourth in for the x squared, you have to square the numerator and the denominator. In this case, negative 1 fourth for x is going to give us 17 eighths for y. So don't be freaking out when you do these in the homework tonight. Plot a few points, and then give us a smooth graph. And that's about what that's going to look like. So that's an example of uh, uh, how to graph a quadratic. Find the vertex. Plot a th few points. Use the axis of symmetry. And you'll have it. That's all you need to do.